Hey, welcome into another Mystery Fifth Hour presented by McCurry Van and Car Rental. They are the company that if you need a car, van, or truck, you call. You rent from McCurry, and they've got locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. They get you in and out fast for the trucks, SUVs, and passenger vans that are hard to find. You can call them today, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003, or visit mccurryrentals.com. That is mccurryrentals.com. Lance Taylor is the one in the Ram shoes. He's got 112 pairs of shoes. I don't have 100. How many do you think you have? North no, of I don't 90. know. I think Jack counted one time. Uh, I don't think it's, but you know, the thing is now I've got two sides because I've got a full closet to myself. I've got two sides. I got a side. Well, I've actually got three sides, <laughs> but I only wear really the shoes on the right side. I'll occasionally dive into these. 60 I don't pair. Know. So you have I've a got over 60, but. full closet of shoes. No, no, no. I've got a, like, I've got my racks of clothes, but I've got the shelves are all shoes. How many are in Rams colors is what I was going to ask. Oh, I've only got uh, four in Rams colors. Four in Rams. It's got only four Rams colors shoes. Yeah. I like those though. Those Thanks, are, man. Those are good. I appreciate it. Uh, Rams colors. I got uh, Jack and Jace both a pair of these for Christmas. In Rams colors? Mm -hmm. Do they both care about the Rams? No, they just think. I mean, the dunks are you know the dunks young, are in right now. Young man's game, so they're they're unique. So they like. I mean, they're bright. I mean, yeah, they are. That yellow is a bright yellow. And then I got uh, got the uh, Jordan ones, the Jordan Rams. Some like Rockstar's Lions are Hawaiian blue. It's specific, yeah. specific blue. Mine are. Aqua and orange, the dolphins are. The buccaneers are pewter and battle red. Battle red. Battle red. Awesome. What are the official Rams colors? Uh, is it, it is, just blue and gold? No, it's soul yellow and um, I forgot the blue. Remember, they just released it a couple of years ago. Yeah. But they're really bright colors. But these aren't considered like they're not. They're they, not officially licensed. These Rams. are actually called, which is crazy, the UCLA's. Well, that's so nothing like UCLA. Oh, I know. And then the USC's, which I think you guys saw me wear. I've got yep. like the legit USC colors, but yep. they're not USC's and dunks. The red that I had, the red and white with the the yellow tag are the official USC's. USC's. How about that? What does the Alabama dunks look like? I don't think they have any. They're just gold. But you can get, uh, so there's, there's a place locally on First Avenue and they've got pretty much every kind of color combination you can imagine. And online is where I've gotten most of mine. Uh, he is a rock star, just plain black in the shoe. I've had the, yeah, just the old. You've had those for a while. New Balance slip. I got them before the tour. Those are I'm, New Balance? Yeah. I got these before the tour so I could slip them on and then I'm just keeping them. And uh, They smell good. They don't, I'm that, not heavy traffic. The ones, my performance shoes, those smell god awful. That was one thing. If we did not have a shower at the venue, uh, that's probably, if it was 28 days, I would say like five venues didn't have showers. The only thing I would demand doing, I'd have to sit on the counter and wash my feet. I would yeah. not go to bed oh. with smelly feet. I can't yeah. Well, see, my, I'm fortunate in that, that area. Like, my feet don't smell. Would well, you rather you're running around. I mean, no, I get that. Would you rather have uh, bad breath, halitosis, or really bad feet? Well, bad feet. Bad, bad feet. feet. You can cover yeah. that up. I can cover that up yeah. all the time. You sleep oh, in four uh, pairs of socks? Yeah, wait, why? Like on the... Like on the bus, you would get it up on the counter and watch no. me, or in the dressing room before you left. <laughs> the dressing room. It was like a monkey. In the yeah. dressing room. Like I would sit on the counter, or I'd like have to be flexible and just put it because I was like, I have to, because it, the smell, I'm not going to change socks because those socks are done until like we can find a, a laundry, which is like probably every fifth venue. So you got to conserve what you have. And I was like, would I rather sleep, put another pair of socks on? And I would sometimes put a pair of clean underwear on, but like that knocks out two pair of underwear right there without a shower. Yeah. I always had this thought. Uh, so you guys have been to Galette's before a game in Tuscaloosa. The old Galette's before they remodeled it was just, I mean, it was a dump. I mean, it was a traditional place and historic. But like the bathrooms, they were infamous for like just having shit all over the floor. Floors were dirty. That's something to be infamous for. No, but all I could think about, because on game days, is almost every chick had open toe shoes on. And oh. I'm like, oh. These girls are going to be going home with dudes and getting in this dude's sheets with just nasty, <laughs> nasty ass feet. Like yeah. I would, I would make it a priority. Look, wash your feet. Yeah, first. we're, we're going to hose your ass off before you get my feet. <laughs> do, do you wash you? Now hold up your right foot. So it's a hey, great pickup line though. Do we have to hose those? You off hey, look, I know where this night's going to end yeah. in my rack, but we're going to be hosing those feet. <laughs> it ain't going to end before. with them feet. Uh, I have gotten to the point where, and maybe this is just the old man in me, I don't know, but 
all my shoes, I just won't slip on, slip off. Same here. I don't like tying shoes. Like even some. I don't either, but like these, I mean, these are tied, but they're. Yeah, that, that, yeah. now a lot of mine are tied. Like yeah. these don't tie. These are just designed not to tie. It's a good way to break your ankle coming off a curb. But. Yeah, I know, but I do not like bending over and tying shoes. So everything I got, I can slip on, slip off. Do, do you guys have to order the put, the, what's it called? The, um, the not pudding. Uh, it would have been it? tapioca. Tapioca. It was yeah. going to be a better joke. How about me? I could translate that away so <laughs> Do well. Do you guys order the tapioca? Or they just put yeah. it on your It's a better joke if you get home. it out the first time, Jim. <laughs> putting, uh, putting I don't want to tie my shoes pudding. anymore. I'm Ryan Brown. Jim Dunaway requires no uh, You wore that last episode, by the way. Yeah. But I do like those shoes. I was going to compliment you. $44 shoe barn. $44. Shoe barn. What city is that in? Shoe barn. I think it's a new place that opened. Shoe station. Oh. Oh. She, she wanted to look at a couple pairs. Was, of trust me, my wife's been there. Yeah. Yeah. She 44 was, bucks. She was pumped about shoe station. That's good. Yeah. Like, so I bought two different ones. I've worn them for now for a year. Nobody's noticed them? Oh, I don't, I don't want them to. I don't, I don't spend my money on shoes. Ooh. Though, now that L, now that LT has said it, it's a young man's game to dunks, yeah. Yeah. who will have a pair by Christmas? Give me dunks. I will. By football season. Christmas. on the heel. <laughs> for, for first game at Brian Denny this year, you'll see me in my dunks. Jimmy dunks. Do I just reference dunks when I walk into that store? I just say I want a pair of shoes. I would like dunks. a pair of I dunks, would, please. Show I me would, the dunks. What I would do is I'd research a little bit online. If you walk in there and uh, show me the dunks. Can you guys well, get I the could pump? just take you or a little tea with me, right? Did you, do you remember the pump shoes? They pump up your tongue. Yeah, yeah deep deep brown, man. Yeah. yeah, did you ever wear them playing basketball? No, I never. Did Shaq wear them? I think I only had one no. pair of Reeboks in the history of Reeboks. Uh, you know what I used to have, and I saw them at shoe station. I was at shoe station with my wife, K Swiss. You remember K Swiss? Yeah. Yeah. Um, to the pair I had. I never had case of I had a pair, but it was so soft on the top. It was like one time my toe yeah. came out when I was I was running, playing wiffle ball in them. And K Swisses were big back then. I had K Swiss and British Knights. Did you ever I have never had British Knights. I never had Stan Smiths, the Adidas. I liked. The, I always liked yeah. the Stan Smiths. They're, they're did you, did you, not, did you have British Knights? You no, showed me the British. British. I, I, it's one I always asked for for Christmas and never got. Was they had real diamonds in them? Remember? <laughs> yeah, they had real diamonds the, in the show. Was the so, K Swiss a tennis shoe? Like yeah, K Swiss was a shoe. Oh, a tennis for shoe? tennis. Yeah, I had some Lecoq Sportifs. Do you remember those? <laughs> It's so so awkwardly made. It really is. I do remember though. Where is your Lacock sport <laughs> You want Nike's? No, 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 no. no. I'm so near the wrong place. <laughs> it's right behind that curtain, young man. The Stan Smiths were the all white with the green. 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 Yeah. I like those. That is yeah, a clean look. There. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're popular now. It's yeah. a clean look. Um, I remember there was another one that was Chuck like Chuck Taylor's. No, that was like Lacock Sportif. I remember uh -huh. those, but there was another one. Is there uh -oh. a shoe brand that you? You don't just because you've never owned a pair, you're never going to get a pair. Like I've never had a pair of Asics. Never like I see like I need a running shoe. Yeah. I'm going to get a pair of Asics. I think I had a pair of Asics. Oh, no, just as an or whatever yeah. that other Saucony one. Saucony. Saucony. I don't think I've ever had a pair of those. I was yeah. never that that committed of a runner to have those. No, but I was just like seeing like a pair. She's like, well, I've never really had. And I, I've always Le Coq Sportif. Nike, <laughs> Nike, Nike, and Reebok. I don't want to if I want to go uh, Asics or Saucony. I think this is going to be our topic. I think yeah. I've got this might be in my top. Oh, interesting. Okay, so. I mean, I had the Reebok, the pump ups. Of course you did. Did you play basketball in them? No. Well, what I, were you wearing them for? Jimmy's going to dunk. Yeah, pick up, pick up games. Jimmy's going to dribble. Had they, something for pickup games. You know, games. they had golf shoes too. They have pump, the Reebok pump golf no, shoes. They did. Yeah, John Daly wore them. Of course he did. Wow, because they have blew those things out. <laughs> that pump was like, <laughs> we don't think we handle this. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up watching us on YouTube. We appreciate it. Subscribe and set your alerts if you have not already so you know when we're live, 9 to 1 every day. But we frequently have live shows outside that window, and uh, you get an alert when we go live. Follow us on all social media at Next Round Live. Um, our topic for now is things everybody else seems to like, but you do not. Lance is already, I think I know what Rockstars is going to be, and I'm, a little, I'm not surprised by him, but I'm surprised how much unification he found within the halls of Double Down Media here with his. Where were you going to go? Uh, well, I don't know if everybody likes them, but people wear the hell out of Birkenstocks, and I cannot stand them. <laughs> You've got like, a long history. Yeah. Because I saw uh, somebody posted. Did you posted meet Maggie when she wore Birkenstocks? <laughs> when you I never met Maggie. She had yeah. beautiful Birkenstocks. Beautiful Birkenstocks. Showing those feet, right? Huge. They're puppies. Huge. Yeah, I, I mean, Layton's got a pair right now. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have got them. I've just, I think what they're a your, terrible, terrible look. 
What, what do you think so bad about them? Because oh, you've had this long standing. I think, oh, I think open shoes for guys are a bad look. Like if you're at the pool and you got flip flops, I get that. But just wearing sandals around to start is terrible. Yeah. Um, and then for girls, they're just they're clunky. They're not. There's nothing sexy about a Birkenstock. You would yeah. love me post golf right now because that's what I do now. You just, wear Birkenstocks? No, I just started a week ago because I got tired of taking off because it's gotten hotter. You don't wear slides. Uh, no. Of course he does. I, I had say. a pair of slides for a while, yeah. but even I felt. Like they were a little yeah. out of my age bracket. Um, but I just got a pair of uh, my sandals that I wear to the pool or the beach. I just throw them in the back now when I pull off the golf shoes and the sweaty socks from being out of the course. Instead of uh, throwing on some more shoes over the dirty socks, I just slide into those sandals. I wore them into Perry's the other night. I felt so oh, clay trails. Oh, God. It's killing no, people's my dining God. experience. <laughs> my gosh. Without socks, you wore sandals into a steakhouse? Yeah. Sandals, uh, golf shorts. Got like juicy golf feet. My see <laughs> I, no, I was, no, no joke, I wore those sandals, my see-through white shorts, and my golf shirt, and my next round Damn, hat. did you have to beat the uh, off of you? Oh, had our brand on. <laughs> Save some for the rest of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, walk in there and uh, um, spent a nice $185 solo, no date, and yeah. uh, went home. Maggie's like, God, what took you so long? And said, no, we went by, had dinner after golf like we always do. And she goes, where'd we you go, you? Crystal? No, but she gets an alert on every purchase uh, that, <laughs> that oh, goes out. Wow. I mean, she <laughs> got you on the <laughs> leash, like, man. Well, where the hell did you spend $185? I said, we went to Paris. My card got sold. You know, usually man. we go to B-dub yeah. to walk on. Paris. So she said, Paris. dress like that? Did she say that word? Well, we're in the bar area. Oh, well, damn, so my, mine pops up every time I run the Amex. Um, I can't imagine... Like if, if you're out of town at two in the morning, is she going to see like, is that one of those where you pay cash, you hold cash on the side? No, no I mean, not, not <laughs> be sneaky. I've got my credit card, but this was, this was debit card. This de bank yeah. debit card? Debit card. It's always good. This only gives her mail notifications, <laughs> post mail. Does she have a, one of those shot collars? Like you, you got a small perimeter? <laughs> it's not around the collar, Milton. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> Jim has to gear up to run out of the yard. You ever see one of those dogs do that? Like they're making a business decision? Yeah. Like something comes by and they're like, do I want to run through this electric, uh -huh. electric fence or not, man? Because once they get through it far enough. Oh, stops. yeah, they're gone. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. my neighbor's dog got through theirs and the volume of the yelp yeah. until he got down to my house, like I was in my yard. I was like, what is that? And he's yelping all the way down the street. And he finally got even with my house and he stopped yelping. He did not stop running. And here comes my neighbor. He goes, did you see my dog? I was like, yeah, he went that way. I was like, I heard him all the way down the street. Though. Yeah, like, Lady Bird would never, it, she would sometimes hit the perimeter and then it would, she would yelp and then come back. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, how big of a shock is it? It's big enough that this dog my, yelped for... My parents had a... You can come by my house and I'll show you. <laughs> my parents had a Newfoundland. <laughs> Content? <laughs> Go spend 200 <laughs> Yeah, a little too follow you. My parents had a Newfoundland. This this massive dog, massive. And they named him Bogart, named him Bogey. And he was so bad, like she put the, my mom put the shot collar that had the remote control. And this is a like 150 pound, 160 pound dog. And so he would go and eat and like he'd misbehave, like chew on a cabinet or something. She'd press the thing and he'd do this. He'd just shake his head and they found out he was blind. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Cause he was like, he's running into stuff. He went, we have to like shove his, Clumsy ass dog. We have to shove his face into the bowl to eat yeah. and everything. And he runs into cabinets and stuff like that. It's like, we can't have a 180 pound <laughs> dog this blind. I remember reading about, you remember there was the pet store in the Galleria? Oh yeah. yeah and they always had dogs. Yeah. And I read one in there with one of his ex-girlfriends and uh, he the called room. me. He called me, he's like, I'm gonna get this dog. I was like, do not get a dog for them all. Why? Don't do it. Uh, it's uh, it's like um, I, I mean, I would just trust a breeder or or, uh, or or the humane society in going and rescuing a dog. They know a little background, but like he got this dog, took it home, and it was deaf. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you grew up a mall, you'd probably be deaf too. Those things probably. are loud. Yeah, I always picture that brown of you know. Well, I don't even want to say it's so sad. I'll tell you off the air. No, <laughs> okay, it's so sad. You'll tell me. Wow. Are we picking a scab here? Is this personal sad or? No, it's not personal. Did you get sad. left at the mall? No, it's just that I was making a comparison of what those dogs and cats are like in the mall. Yeah. And I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to. Let's, let's don't go there. Uh, mine is bacon. Like if nobody I'm ever. Fan. I'm not. I, I'm not a big fan. I, don't, I can take or leave bacon. Yeah. If nobody ever cooked another piece of bacon, I'd be just fine. I mean, I don't mind it like crumbled up 
as bacon bits. I don't mind it on a BLT. I don't mind it on a burger. I don't actively order a bacon cheeseburger. Just get the bacon. I have never liked bacon. Like, I've never liked it as the main side in breakfast. You know um, what's weird is, like, if I get a burger and it's got bacon, I don't want the bacon on it. If I get a salad with bacon, I don't want the bacon. So I you're like the bacon exact for opposite of me. I like bacon for breakfast. See, I don't. Do you like yours, like, super crispy? I like it super crispy and in syrup. Because there is a, you know, a, history, a moment of the show. If you guys have followed the show for a long time, you know me and Dunaway. Go ahead and start. Go ahead. We're together in New Orleans. Yeah, we got up early, wanted to walk. Yeah, take a nice we walk walked together, go get breakfast. It was, uh, yeah. well, I think it was, it was Alabama, Ohio State, right? Yeah, we wanted to walk through Jackson Square, see what it was, how beautiful yeah. it was, sun rising. And we go to a breakfast place full of Alabama fans, so they're all coming up talking about the show, and the only protein they had available was bacon. I think they were out of sausage or ham or something. They'd run out. The Publix was out of bread the other night. I went to get some pub subs, which like are really they didn't good. Have any, they like didn't the bread. deli didn't have bread? I, I think it was a couple of lazy workers didn't want to make a sandwich. Yeah. So <laughs> no, just they're, they're out of every protein except for bacon. So I order it. The only way I like it is limp. Yes. I don't know how else to describe it. How else would you describe it? Just medium rare. But one of y'all liked and the, and the crisp bacon before, and then you switched to limp. I've never liked no, crisp bacon. I used bacon. to really love it almost burnt. Yeah. yeah almost like break, uh, bacon bits. Now you like rubber. Uh, no, but I can eat it like Brown likes it now. Yeah. I can eat it limp. You so start turning I, into your spouse. I, <laughs> you do. You start looking at <laughs> your So yeah. I told the waitress, she's at the table, and I said, if, if I have to get bacon, I'm going to need it limp. And she goes, I beg your pardon? Yeah. The bacon? And I said, I just, I don't want it like crispy, whatever the opposite. I don't know how you tell the, sh the chef, but raw, it's whatever. Just, like just a step above raw. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, just run a flashlight over and bring it out to me. So I guarantee that some bitch ain't gonna change his baking for you. No, he does. Not only did he change it, Dunaway will attest to this. The cook comes out of the kitchen to deliver it. To deliver it, and walks up to our table. I was like, "Oh, thank you." He goes, "I just had to see the man that ordered his bacon limp." Yeah. And everybody at the tables around us, all these Alabama fans, just bust out laughing. So he was because, shaming you. Oh, a hundred percent. They were laughing about it back in the kitchen. He said, "Yeah." Yeah, she came out. You should have said, "Well, I got drugged to this shithole, so <laughs> my my my, my should, spouse yeah. should be able to work with what I want." <laughs> no, it's not a shithole. No, it's, it's actually a pretty good breakfast joint. I Great remember. syrup. I remember the syrup being mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. chef's kiss. Now, I will say, like sometimes when I'm uh, smoking meats, the good way to keep them from drying out is you drape bacon over them. Keep some moist uh, under there, and that smoked bacon coming off there is legit. I do like it. That I do way. like the bacon wrapped around a um, scallop or something like that with uh, the cream cheese in it. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's like, on game day. <laughs> yeah. So Brown, he's okay with it on your salads. Okay with it I, on your I, burgers. I, I, so if it's smoked in the meat, but my God, if there's never another piece of bacon cooked, yes. Yes. <laughs> do, do, do you not like it? Okay. It sounds like you eat more bacon than I do. No, no, no. I really do not. I'm just telling you the places <laughs> I can stomach it. I, I do not like it as the side for breakfast. It, and it doesn't provide enough sustenance. Like if it's your Would only you, breakfast protein, sausage gives you so much more. Like bacon, oh, I'm, I'm- Sausage mm. is dog food to me. Oh, I love I'll sausage. take sausage any day dog. No. Uh, bacon. Yeah, me and you both. Do you uh, like link or patty? No, I like the links. I used to I like hate. Both. I used to hate links because of that texture that you get when you bite into it. Yeah, you have to bite through the, the, the casing. And the, and the cheap kind. You may catch a, a, a grease pocket occasionally yeah. and it squirts out. <laughs> so I would go patty, but I, I've learned to like links. But I like patty, uh, obviously, on a biscuit. But yeah. if I'm eating, like when Jennifer makes breakfast at home, it's link and link only. Yeah. That's the only way I'll, I'll take it. I like it all that in syrup, though. Like yeah, whether I've got like salt covered bacon, in syrup? Yeah. yeah, that's good, like when you have a waffle. Because of the salty sweet. Yeah, and you can rub, rub, yeah. uh, rub it in there. Do y'all like French toast? Love French toast. I had some French yeah. toast Saturday. It was great. Did you? Mm -hmm. I, love French toast. I love a good French toast. Yeah, I yeah. think I would go though, waffle pancake French toast. And oh, pancake order. would yeah. easily be third in that list for me. Really? I'd probably go French toast waffle pancake. I love a waffle. What about a good crepe? I love a good waffle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, love a waffle. I have a crepe black crepe on top. just feels like I'm too uppity. A little brown or black on top of the waffle. Yeah. So you little like it a little, little crisp? Yeah. Yeah, I ordered my yeah. I, I ordered my, my egos back in the day. I Me liked too. egos back in the too. day though. Me too. Now, I liked them barely done, like most things, barely yeah. done. But I, I liked a good egg. Did I, you take it out and you would just scrape that butter on top of it and then yeah, fill and I made each, sure that fill every square. waffle dent was yeah yep. was full of syrup. Full of syrup. Yeah, yep. and I, it would hurt my teeth sometimes to eat the syrup. One of my favorite uh, memories with you was down at Florida, just recently. I mean, if you say. Top 10 favorite Lance moments of your life with Lance. 
if we were doing top 10 Lance moments, one of my favorites is always going to be the, the Waffle House. I think Little T and Kelsey was with us. Yeah. That was what a was great. So, what was so favorite about it? Well, first off, he was, he was, having, to, <laughs> he was having to open the mayonnaise to eat with his hash browns, uh, I guess. It was like, such a good creation, though. It was, oh, the, it's it was the hash browns with cheese with jalapenos and a side of mayonnaise. Oh, and then a yeah. waffle with a toast. God, but that. he had to provide his own ha uh, mayonnaise by opening the packet. It wasn't like they could squirt it on their form. It yeah. didn't come out in the dipping your hands are all greasy and you can't open the damn <laughs> yeah. yeah. having to fumble yeah. around with it. sealing yeah. it tighter somehow. <laughs> but I was laughing my ass off anyway, just having a good time that night. And then to get there, and I just, I love their food, man. I love Waffle House. The one Damn thing should sponsor us. everybody likes should. that you don't. And you and Scott Forrester agreed on this one. He's going to go Waffle House. No, I, was, I, I agree with uh, Forrester on guacamole, but that wasn't my answer. My okay, but guacamole real quick. So you don't like guacamole. Now. I'm not surprised with you. Nancy is obsessed with it. She can feed it to my son. My son will eat it. Uh, I cannot stand it. Even like if a, a chip has touched the guacamole and you taste it after uh -huh. you dip it in queso. I've just never been a guacamole fan. Now, this is going to be crazy. I love guac guacamole, but I don't like bad guacamole. Like no, cheap you don't like cheap guacamole. Yeah. Like, I, Taco Mama's got really good guac. Yes. And but but if you they make it fresh at the table, I'm all in on that. But if it comes and you know it's got some of the brown where it's been oh, out yeah. for a long time, like you can get to some cheaper Mexican places occasionally. Oh, we gotta say, my buddy Heath makes Mexican yeah. places. Cheaper. <laughs> my buddy uh, Heath makes the best homemade guac. Oh, but you can feel the avocados. I told you guys I worked in produce before, so you can tell when the avocados are. When we were down, I don't know if you were with us, but we were down for one of the Alabama games at the Orange Bowl. I think it was Alabama Notre Dame. And there was a place nearby where we were staying that made guacamole table side. Like they rolled a cart out <laughs> and made it. And it was the best guac I've ever had. I cannot remember the name of the restaurant. I love it. But in that same vein, Rockstar, I don't like the queso. I mean, well, like I can't brown. believe you don't like queso. Like brown. Damn. Queso you know, well, that's, that should be yours because everybody loves everybody queso. Everybody loves queso. Like if, brand, if it spills on my burger, I'll eat it. Or <laughs> it if it drips on my <laughs> chips, I'll oh. eat it. But I, I don't, I never order it. Um, you know, I like, I'll, I'll eat my weight in chips and salsa and chip and guac. But, you know, some places have the trio that you order. Yeah. My, my kids and my wife, I never even touch it. You can have it. Go ahead. So they've got the gator tacos now at walk -ons. They got rid of the tuna that I used to eat. So I got the gator last night when I was there. And it comes with the chips and queso. Yeah. And you can sub, sub it out. But I always get the chips and queso. Yeah. I love queso. I do too. Do you like queso like when uh, you get chorizo mixed in? Or oh, yeah. Just, yeah it's so so, but it's so hard good. to get the all aligned parties because most people just want traditional I know. queso. No. But I love it with the chorizo. Yeah, so too. you're telling me that if you had a choice of queso or salsa, really good salsa, queso you would every choose time. queso? Queso yeah, every time. I mean, health -wise, so redundant. health wise, um, I would probably go salsa, but. The cheese dip's better. Yeah, queso every time. So what is the thing you actually dislike that everyone else likes? Uh, it's probably a little dated now, but Game of Thrones. And I oh, was, I'm with you on that. I, it was, I was thinking about it. People, well, well, I should have gone Seinfeld. Well, you, you only like it because it's, it's popular. I was like, well, no, because Breaking Bad is one of my favorite shows. That's massively popular. Better Call Saul is a great show. That's yeah. massively popular. I think I would like Succession. I just never got into it. I just never watched it. But Game of Thrones, I gave it a shot and everything. But I just remember how people were so obsessed with it. And then the reason is, are you just because it's too mainstream for you. It's like, well, no, there's mainstream stuff that I absolutely love. I just could never get in to Game of Thrones. Yep. Well, I had to, to rewatch the first episode. You know, I tried to watch it when it first came out and I watched it again and then watched the first episode. Why you don't, Jim, why don't you start with episode two? You've already seen episode one, but I watched it for a third time and then went into episode two and then I was hooked. Wow, see, that's so weird because I, I had no desire to see Game of Thrones. Yeah. And our buddy, uh, Clay Travis was the one that turned me on to it way back in the day he's like you gotta watch you gotta watch it i was like no and when i was married bethany and the kids had gone out of town and i started on hbo demand and i watched one i was like damn and then i ended up watching six that day and i was hooked but i couldn't do it silo you would like well that we don't have apple but you also uh you did the same thing about breaking bad where you, you can't finish it and you can't, can't finish, finish it. it yeah god it's so good and, and i i that was the choice i made the other night too i was like should i finish breaking bad or should i start silo and I started Silo. Well, Silo's, I would finish Silo, Breaking Bad. Silo is less intimidating. You're one season compared to uh, yeah. six. <clears throat> well, that's what exciting. Like Jack is yeah. like buzzing through shows. He's already seen Breaking Bad. We're watching Sopranos now. He's seen Better Call Saul. He just finished Ozark, and he just started Succession. It took me years. Four. Took me years to do Sopranos. Remember, I, I didn't did. watch it until this is my third really time late. to go through it. Really, late. I've never gone through it a second time, but it took me a long time. 
So what is the thing that everybody else likes you dislike? Queso. Queso. Yeah. That was it. That's where I was going. Man. Put a little beef, get a little be order like an extra ground beef taco. Oh, I take love the meat from the weight. Take the meat from that <laughs> taco, put it in the queso, stir it up. I call it beefed up queso. Yeah. So you do that at yeah. a normal Well no, some some places give some you some places will do it. We're talking about that with Some places yeah. give you too much meat on your tacos. So yeah. you're just like, I'm gonna scrape some of this out and put some in the queso and you can yeah. swirl it you, around. You ever dip fries in the queso? Yes. Oh I've done that. Yeah. Tater tots? Come on. A, there was a place where you could get queso as a side with your fries, and I'm trying to remember where that was now. Now again, if it's part it's of if joint. it's part of like ultimate nachos and you've put some if you didn't want to put cheese on it to melt mm -hmm. or to be on there, if you wanted to drip some queso on there, I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna turn it away, but I want a bunch of other stuff in there. You don't like just, it when it's a bowl of queso. Just cheese and chips. I bet just, every time you so go to redundant. Mexican with Maggie, you got queso on the well, table. Of course. Absolutely. Because everybody else in the world she likes it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But she doesn't, she's like Rockstar, cannot stand guacamole, will not try it. You can have And I'm like, this is so good, it's so fresh, baby. And I would, Queso's she actually, uh, uh, I use, I use, um, I use Jen Brown for, for good, not for evil in my house. Um, like on football, my wife. On, football oh, no. on football Saturdays, I'll be like, uh, oh no, I'll be like, oh, I was talking to Brown yesterday, all the great uh, things that Jen's going to have for Brown for football today. And sure enough, um, hot by, pockets in the freezer. I'm going by. by by Friday night. She's coming back from Publix and she's like, I just came back from Publix. Um, what time's the game start tomorrow? It's 11. Why? And she's like, well, I've, I've got these avocados. I'm gonna make you some fresh guacamole, and I got to air <laughs> fry some chicken wings and stuff. Yeah. And it I'm sounds like, like it's a chore every time they talk about <laughs> each other. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, like Nebraska's oh, more of a salsa team. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I'm like, uh, oh baby, you didn't have to do that. And she's like, oh no, no, I took the hand. When you say what Jim Brown, Jim Brown. Oh, Brown's no, 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 no. I was just simply saying, I, was I love my coworkers. She's, awesome she's just as passive aggressive as you are. <laughs> oh, and you know who the most passive aggressive is in my family Your now? Son. Uh, my daughter. Your daughter? Really? Oh, God. Her and I are, uh, we're well, like two peas uh, in a pot. Geez. We're the same thing. So we are, we are identical to oh. each other. And, uh, is she, she the she, same thing where you can't make a decision on dinner where like having two passive aggressive people decide on where to go to dinner because I kind of want to be right that you chose the wrong place? Oh, behind uh, money and infidelity, that probably starts the biggest fight. <laughs> <laughs> she's pretty good at dinner. probably does. She, she's, uh, she was doing something the other night, and she was like, she told me, and before I could even say anything, she stopped, she stopped and she goes, go ahead. And I said, why? She goes, this is usually where you tell me how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, my. And uh, I was wow. like, what are you talking about? And she, was, she's going to Bonnaroo. And she's like, oh hey, we're leaving. We're going to Bonnaroo on this date, blah, 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 blah. And then she stops and she's like, now keep in mind, she's fully 22 now. Fully? Yeah. And she stops not, and not she, 21, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she stops and she's like, go ahead. And I'm like, why? And she's like, this is usually where you tell me, you know, I'm going too early or it's going to rain or you sure I've got a tent? Do I have a poncho? You sure I've got the pass? No, I just won't care about you. I just won't care. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's what I said. Yeah. No, no, no. You're on your own. Yeah. You're on your own. Go get dirty and wet. Go be miserable. Yeah. <laughs> you going to spend any of my money or what? <laughs> Maggie will know. <laughs> That does it for the Mystery Fifth Hours presented every single week by our friends at McCurry Van and Car Rental, the local rental company you can depend on when you need a car, van, or truck, all kinds of vehicles to choose from. Trucks, SUVs, passenger vans, they got it all. They make it easy to rent. They get you in and out fast. They got locations in Athens, Muscle Shoals, Huntsville, and Coleman on 2nd Avenue Northwest. Reserve your rental today, 256-559-1003. That's 256-559-1003 or mccurryrentals.com. Smash that thumbs up for us and make sure you've set your alerts after you subscribe on YouTube. Do all those things for us. We we'll greatly appreciate us. Uh, appreciate it. Follow us on social media as well at Next Round Live on all social media at Next Round Live. Thank you for watching the Mystery Fifth Hour.